Well, the Pirates have been a great story, and for no other reason, three of the men they employ are from the San Diego area. We heard the other day from Stephen Brault. Joe Musgrove, as you know, got himself into the World Series with Houston, and today's starter for the Pirates is Trevor Williams, and Bob Scanlon caught up with him earlier. Mike, thanks so much. We're excited to be able to spend some time today with Pirates starting pitcher and San Diego boy, Trevor Williams. Trevor, thanks so much for joining us today. Yeah, definitely. Any shout-outs to the uh, friends and family back in San Diego that might be watching you uh, fire? Shout-out friends and family in San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hey, big Padres fan growing up. It's no secret. Uh, any special memories uh, of watching Padre baseball as a kid? Um, you know, I, I grew up in, in a great time of Padre baseball. You know, there's a lot of great players that, that I grew up watching. Obviously, you know, Tony Gwynn and Trevor Hoffman were my two, my two guys that I grew up watching a lot. Um, but my favorite player growing up was, was Ken Caminetti. Um, he made me want to be a third baseman to, you know, throw it across the infield on your knees. Um, but some, you know, some, some memories, that, you know, I see Trevor Hoffman, you know, get all of his saves. And we sat right behind his family. So you see his sons and his wife go nuts every time they, that he pitched was, was, was really special. Yeah, and Caminetti, I heard a story that he actually got to wish you a happy birthday on birthday yeah. number five. No, it, it, worked, it worked out good uh, on my fifth birthday that he came up at the right time uh, when my name was on the board. Yeah, that's very cool. Now, we just celebrated the 98 uh, National League Championship team. Any memories of watching that ball club? Um, I just I just remember them being good. I was six, um, so I don't remember a lot. Okay. Um, but but I remember them being good. I remember them going to the World Series. We didn't act, we didn't end up going to the World Series, um, but I remember watching it and you know just being excited of how good they were. And so Padres baseball's had a big part in your love of the game. It sounds like. Yeah, without a doubt. You know, I, I grew up going to you know three or four games a week uh, when they were home and. I fell in love with the game that way, and I'm thankful, you know, that my dad had those tickets and, and brought me and my brothers out to the ballpark. You know, what's really cool now is the San Diego connection is still here. You've got Stephen Brault over here and Joe Musgrove yeah. and yourself, so a little bit of San Diego East going. I know there's there's too many San Diegans <laughs> in, on the on the Padres, but or on the Pirates, but uh, but it, it's fun, you know. It's fun because the, all all three of us are we're, we're big Padres fans growing up, and you know, it's funny to reminisce about guys that we used to. Um, that we used to watch and you know we, we play the Cubs so many times and Will Venables their third base coach and we're you know reminiscing <laughs> right. about you know watching Will Venable um, so it, it's fun it's, it's good that we got some uh, some SoCal ties on the team and you got some San Diego love going with your podcast in my humble opinion which uh, there's nothing humble about the opinions you guys share on there no, we, uh, we, we, we try and keep it clean. We keep it PG-13, but uh, we, have, we have a good time with that, and I think Stephen and I have good personalities, um, differing personalities where, where it's been taken off. Hey, you're going to be making your first appearance against the Padres. A any feelings about that going into the, into the game? Um, you know, naturally, the Padres are my last National League team I, gotta, I, gotta, I get to pitch against. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it, it's going to be fun. I, I think the, the emotions will be will be higher you know if I get to pitch at Petco this year I think you know pitching in front of friends and family that I used to grow up you know going to Padres games with uh, I think that'll that'll be more emotional for me you know you mentioned your father going to the ball games with him he's obviously been a big part of your, of your baseball life not just your, your life growing up but uh, a special moment for you your major league debut September 7 2016 share with us a little bit about that experience and what you were able to share with him um, it was fun, you know. You, you only get one major league debut. Um, so, some aren't as fortunate, you know. It's it's either something you forget really fast or something you remember the rest of your life. Um, and I was very fortunate um, to pitch well and then and my my team to score to score some runs for me to get the win. Um, and we shared we shared a good embrace after the game. Um, he got to you know I gave him the the ball for the first win and. Um, it, it's cool, you know, the, the culmination of your entire career and, you know, him being there the entire way is, 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 is fun and it's a moment that we'll never forget. Yeah, it was a, a moment that went viral, actually. You didn't yeah. think you had any pictures from it and they got it on right. video. But a little backstory to it as well. Your father was, was recovering from cancer at that time. I'm sure it made it even more meaningful for you. Yeah, the, you know, the, the immediate context of that is, you know, it's great seeing a father and son embrace, but that immediate context of, you know, he was going through cancer that entire year and we weren't sure if he was going to live, you know, to see that day and he ended up doing that. And, He's cancer free now, thank God, and you know it's 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 been a wild ride since. And you know he he enjoys every time I step on the mound because he knows um, you know we ne we don't know how long we're going to be on Earth, and we don't know how long you know I'm going to be pitching in the big leagues for. You know, it's certainly an emotional moment for both of you, and it's not the only emotional moment. You have a shirt on right now, Project yeah. 34. Uh, your teammate Corey Hahn back at Arizona State injured himself, was paralyzed, diving headfirst into second base. But you've you've turned it into a passion of yours to try to help him and share us a little bit about that story, if you don't mind. 
Yeah, it's a uh, it's something that's obviously near and dear to our hearts. Um, baseball is a very tight knit community. Everyone is everyone knows everyone somehow, some way. So his his injury has really impacted the major leagues, um, and there, there's so many people that um, are affected by spinal cord injuries that um, weren't as fortunate as Corey to get hurt on a baseball field. So the insurance doesn't. Um, cover it as well, and they don't have proper rehab. So, with with our foundation, um, we want to set up support groups in every city with Major League Baseball players and guys and, and people going through um, spinal cord injuries and, and you know and assisting financially in any way we can. And how can people make contributions if they want to? Um, our website is project34.com, spell, all spelled out. Um, you can buy T-shirts on there that, um, that are $34 each, and, and we see proceeds of that, and it goes directly into our foundation. And 34 on your back for that reason, right? 34 on my back. I changed my number for that specifically, and uh, so uh, it's, it's been going well, and you know we're, we're looking forward to helping a lot of families out. Hey, Trevor, you're having a great season. I'm, I know all of San Diego wishes you luck, of course, yeah. except against the Padres, but congratulations, and uh, keep up the great work. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Appreciate the time.